Hi, darling. You're excited to see the new collection. Can't wait. I've laid it all out on the table with Helen's help this morning. Okay. So. Roll of drums. 18 months work. Two lockdowns. So, shall I start at the beginning? Is that a good idea? So this collection is named Pavani, and it sort of starts with, it started with two prints, rather in the, in, in the sort of genre of the Les Andiennes fabrics. And um, so if we start down here, this is the, the Pavan, which is it's a sort of Persian word, actually. I thought it meant peacocks, but of course I was completely wrong. It doesn't at all. But anyway, it's rather nice. I love all the different colours in it. And what I wanted out of this collection was a vehicle for many more colours than we've been doing in the past. So here you've got interesting all colours blending together, which gives you a lot of opportunity to, you know, decoration. So that is Pavan in one of the colourways. And this is a newish colour for us because it's, exploring the ochres with the blues, but then going into more orangey colors, like all good prints, a little bit of sort of aubergine. I noticed that with the French fabrics, there's always a little bit of that purple color put in. And then it brings in also the pinks and the reds as well. It's called Baroda. Well, actually it's not called Baroda at all. It's the collection of it is called Baroda very grand Indian family. And this one is called Holka, which is the name of a, an Indian princely family who were very warring tribe. Um, and they come from Indore. So this is on a chenille, which we've had woven specially because what I don't like about printed velvets is that kind of slightly slimy look. And this one, because of the background and the texture of it, I think is really fabulous and it doesn't shade differently when you make it up and I've noticed again with some of the velvets when you have to put one side against the other as you do in upholstery you get a different um, the nap goes differently and somehow this one won't so here again is a much a sort of maybe a darker richer version of that colorway I was explaining with the sage sages and teals and chocolates and reds and oranges it's rather awful to make such a mess of this table that we made so beautifully this morning. Anyway, there it is in that colourway. I think it's also, while we're looking at it, interesting to see it on a coloured background. It's quite a weight, actually, so I feel sorry for anybody showing it. But I think this is rather lovely, having this darker coloured background. And this ochre yellow, which is such a wonderful, cheerful colour. I think we'll, we need a few more yellowish rooms. And then there's another extraordinary fabric here called Patordi. Um, and I think this is beautiful. I love the background weave. I love the colors of it. I love this sort of blues and yellows, but it's not trite, the blue and yellow. It's got this teal color. It's got the burnt sugars in it. It's got this golden colors, a different adventure for us. This one's called Mandovi. And it's really like a sort of huge patchwork in a way except that they're all woven in with a slightly silky color so a sl silky thread and I think a really wonderful pair of curtains in this look at the colors and the richness and the sheen you get off the threads and then the coolness of the linen behind wonderful colors sort of if you start to put all these things together maybe this one Look what a wonderful mixture it is. And I like the mixture, actually, of having this rather geometric, slightly modern fabric with something that's a little bit more classic and probably more document. Okay, so while we're in this new colorway, I just want to show you some of the sort of go-withs that we do. This is the most lovely chenille. I love the way it's got many, many colors in it. Um, and actually, I've already used it a lot myself. And you see how it just picks up on anything you might want to do. That one, which is chenille. And then I've been wanting to do a sort of rather drier cloth. 
So this is really a linen, but I just love it. I love the color combination here. The, the teal color in with this burnt orange on the bone color. And again, I mean, we do it in many colors, but look how pretty it looks. You can even use the two small ones together if you want to. And then we've got one more big, heavy pattern, which is this real sort of, it's like a marvelous, heavy, almost, a, it would look beautiful as a tablecloth, which is, I'm sure, just throw it over a table. Um, it's chenille in the background with this embroidered thread. It's fantastic. And this one is called Rana. And then this is another interesting little weave with lots of colors in it again. And this one goes across the board. I mean, as we progress down with all the other colors, you'll see that you can use it. You can practically put it in anywhere. And we have quite a few colors of it. And this one's called Garadi. And this is our little trio of rather good weaves. And then we did a wallpaper of this and we decided to turn it into a weave and I think it's just marvellous. Again, it's sort of got that drier um, feel because in certain countries when you, when, you know, the weather is warmer than it is here, um, I think people sort of want to have an alternative to chenille. And this again, 30,000 rubs, it's called Bansuri and I think it's woven up really nicely. So here we are with this pretty colour. Having seen all that new colouring, I just want to show you now, faithful to the pretty yellows. I, I love yellow. I think it's cheerful and sunny and joyous and everything we need right now. So we've done this lovely, rather fine linen. I think it would make lovely curtains, slightly blowing, it would make good blinds and good cushions. So actually we've got most things covered. This one is called Basholi printed and then sort of hand blocked up the side, up the middle, woven stripe and then hand um, hand printed either side. Actually, to be honest, it's not really hand printed because it's, otherwise it would never fit. But it looks like that hand block. We always work very hard in getting that sort of blocky look. Then we have another print named after a place that I have yet to get to, but I'm dying to go, Pondicherry. I love this sort of pineapple flower. I don't know what it is. I'm not very horticultural, but I think it it looks sort of rather delicious. And I love the way this is got the colours. We've again put that sort of purpley colour in with the aqua, with the yellow. So it doesn't scream at you, but it just is there to give it a bit of sophistication. And I always think this is interesting with fabrics. You can do it in rich, strong colours and it can look masculine. And then you do it in these really pretty, again, sort of slightly purpley colours, per, uh, pale saggy greens, this pale blue, the browns. I think this is again really pretty and going off into a stronger teal, a little bit of that purple again. We've got Pavani, rather prettily done with the yellows and the blues and bringing that lavender in, in the flower and the tail of the, of the per peacock. Peacock's got a wonderful tail. Everyone's different. Look at his wings. I love these yellows and blues together. And then bringing in the fresh apple green. So you can use this with greens. I mean, in fact, I'm just going to borrow something from somewhere else. You see, this is one of these little, pretty little Lavanis I showed you. You can just push it green and you can push it blue. You can do what you like with it. And that's really what I was aiming for with this collection. There's another plain weave looking just completely like a plain, but more interesting than a plain. It's called Lakana. And again, it's got a nice slight, not exact, not shiny, but it's got a slight sheen. So it will make beautiful curtains and it will make very good covers. And then because we all loved our embroidered linen from before, we've done a new one called Almora. But this one, is embroidered instead of on linen on the most beautiful sort of herringbone cloth and we've made sure to do all the colors very differently from the collection we did before so there's no excuse for not using it because it's not an either or situation but look at this wonderful flower and all of these i think it's just beautiful and, and then just to show you this pondicherry in the aqua in the pale blue we've done quite wonderful strong color backgrounds but this is the gentlest and this one has 
little touches of yellows and little bits of apple green in there. So back to the favourite um, indigos, but this time we've done them again, mixed in other colours. I think this is really beautiful, this sort of grey brown in the background, and again, lots of different blues. And then here are all its friends, this little one in the blue and brown, looking awfully good. Or this one, if you just want to accentuate really the lighter colours in it. And here is on the on a wonderful blue linen background. Mandovi. I just love the way this has this wonderful silky look to it that is really all linen and cotton. And then let's get to Rana in these blues. It's the only one we did in sort of almost a two colours, again, just the blues and the taupes and the brown. So again, you've got three wonderful blues. You've got really a dark, almost black indigo. You've got a mid blue and a light blue and then the chocolate. And I think it just makes a really beautiful cloth and interesting to see how it works in a sort of tonal as opposed to the other ones, which are much more multicoloured. And then this is the darkest one we did of the Pondicherry. And I love the relief of that dark, scratched out indigo background with the whites bleeding into it. And then these rust colours and the lighter blue there. The Lalita. So it's gone from being unbelievably calm and pretty and gentle to being much stronger. And I think the, the, the this kind of pinky brown colour in the background really warms it up. Patode again, again. I think the, what I think is good about this collection is how we've managed to mix all the different blues in together so that you've got such a wide palette to go from. I mean, how pretty this room would be if you painted the walls sort of robin's egg blue. Equally, it could be lovely with a sort of just a creamy, soft colour or, or a white wall. So here we are with this sort of conglomerate of colours um, going from the reds through the aquas, coming out into the sort of more cheerful, very cheerful in fact, happy corals, and then back to the reds and browns. And there's one more secret that I haven't shown you, which is this. It's called Baroda. And it really... Look at all those taupes and corals and wonderful colours in it. And I love the way the pattern just sort of changes. It looks like it's all the Indian symbols, I think, really. Here is the most wonderful colourway of this embroidery. Again, always somehow this buttermilk colour came into all of them. Look at the fuchsias with their red. Look at this background colour and the aquas in there, chocolates, different greens, and apple, fresh green, and the tealy green. And again, this old favourite comes back looking so good with it. And if that's too strong an idea, how about this one also in these lovely corals and soft, soft greens. And then we had a look at Patodi in a couple of the colours. And here it is. So very much a sort of sitting room. Great room fabric. Again, really beautiful with the greens and the yellows and how those threads blend in here to make all these extraordinary mixtures which make it really sophisticated. Rana in the chocolate background with all the blues on it. Funny enough, it's the same top colours as this one but just with the chocolate background instead of the white background. So really all tastes catered for here. And then to end on something just light and pretty, Lalita. Right, well, I've used it in Australia already, that's why I was showing it to you upside down. I just made some wonderful blinds. Again here, just look at the mixtures. 
the light pink and the darker pink and the two reds. You wouldn't really think all those would come together, but they do, which of course gives you a much better opportunity of using them with lots of different fabrics. So that is the Pavani collection for this year. A little delayed thanks to Mr. Covid, but nonetheless brought to you with enormous enthusiasm. And I hope you get to use it and enjoy it. Thank you. So it's always very exciting when there's a new collection and um, it makes you want to redecorate everything. But I have been thinking that I want to do quite a lot to my house now, having spent quite a bit of time in it. And so I looked at this one and I thought this would look really lovely on this seat, which I find very, very useful. It tucks around this corner and I can put a table and have extra people for dinner or in those heady days when we were allowed to entertain. And um, so I think this would go well. And I love this screen covered with the corda fabric, which I, I think it just blends very well. OK, so this room is for my grandchildren. It's a sort of TV beds and they come and stay and it's all wonderful. And of course, as a result, um, the bed has got a little bit overused. Um, so what I'm thinking is cheering it up and putting this fabric on the bed, which I think will be a bit more forgiving. A little bit of this already got little tiny bits, could be chocolate, so a little few more bits of chocolate wouldn't notice. And um, then this one I think is just so joyous that um, I think I'm going to make sort of curtains of this probably, or we cover the chair or something like that. I've just redone this room from the last collection, so I don't really want to redo it again, although um, but if you hadn't done it all, I think this fabric, you see how we do try and make everything blend together, this fabric would be equally nice with this wallpaper. But the thing I can do here, just to sort of satisfy my yearnings to redo, is this chair, which um, actually I love too. And I've got a wonderful piece of magenta um, a pot, a pot in here, which, but I think I might just go continue on the green situation and cover it in that.